everyone. May Almighty God bless you, guide and protect you. In Jesus' name, please, I'm here to thank everybody, all my subscribers, those that view Wisdom TV Nigeria. I thank you so much. The Lord has done a great thing in our lives. We have been very, very busy these days, going out, trusting God and doing everything in the name of Jesus Christ. I believe that God is with us and I know that God will continue to bless us the more. In Jesus' name, Amen. It is easy to say I trust God in a general sense when life seems so good and an expectation for our life is high. But what about when life is on the rough signs? When our perspective is on the verge of collapsing? Questions to think about. How do you enjoy the faith you have in God? Our topic today is Trust Only God. One of the most difficult things to do in this present dispensation is to relinquish our control to someone else and depend totally on that person to lead and guide us. The Word of God lets us know that we need to learn to wait on Him and to trust Him. But at times, it isn't the most desirable thing to do because waiting involves trusting. So here are four reasons why you should trust Him. He is conscious. This means He's aware. The Word of God says in Matthew 6, 8 that our Heavenly Father knows what things we have need of even before we ask Him. Isn't it good to know that we have a God that is omniscient or all-knowing? That's the first reason why you should trust Him. Because He already knows everything about you. He is consigned. 1 Peter 5, 7 says, Cast, which means to throw your cares, anxieties and worries on Him, because He cares about you. Yes, He cares about you. Whatever consigns you, consigns him so whenever you are faced with problems situations and obstacles that seem insurmountable just throw them on him he can handle them he's consistent this means he's faithful and you can also count on him and trust him to do exactly what he says he will do every single thing time even if others let you down and or found to be unreliable, God will never let you down. You can always rely on Him. 1 Corinthians 1 9 says that God is faithful. So even, even we are, when we are unfaithful to God, God remains faithful to us. He is capable. Ephesians 3.20 says that God is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all that we could acts or think according to the power that he works in us this will suggest to us that nothing is too hard for god even if he chooses not to grant our request he is still capable of supplying our, our every need hallelujah so this video is just a, a small one i want to do to establish the content of trusting god in every day of our lives in whatever we want to do and however we want to do it in conclusion if you have been relying on yourself as well as others and not depending totally on the lord to meet your needs i admonish you today to trust him completely the word of god let us know that without faith it is impossible to please god hallelujah may we be blessed in the land of the living in Jesus' name, Amen.